Hello. Hi. How's it going? Welcome back, chat. Well, that music tells us that it's time to play Sphere Flying Cities. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all here for another major update for Sphere Flying Cities, Sandbox and Difficulties Update. And I don't think this is as major as the uh, Industrials update that we saw a while ago that added some new buildings and whatnot, but it definitely does have some things from their roadmap. And uh, today's episode or live stream or whatnot is sponsored by Sphere Flying City. So you can check them out with the link in the description or just go to Steam and uh, check it out as well. The game is under development and this is uh, one of many updates coming soon. Uh, on the left side of the screen you see some bullet points about uh, early access roadmaps and other things that they want to, uh, you know, bu bugs they want to squash and fix and things that they want to add and uh, uh, yeah on the left side you can see the instruction center and the large power plant so there are a couple of new buildings I don't think it's as a uh, massive scale as the industrial one because it allowed us to make a lot of new stuff but it does have uh, new difficulty modes for the campaign a sandbox mode too so you can play endlessly and then also uh, more gameplay depth through building effect radiuses which I think has something to do with like building a building and seeing its effects um, based on like how much funding you have or people involved in the building. You know, it's kind of like in SimCity or whatnot, like the music we came in with. Yes, uh, technically a city builder sphere, Flying Cities is. But basically, the more people you have in a building, the more effective it's going to be, either in its radius or its um, in the services that it provides. So good to see you all here. Thanks again, everybody. Let's get some ones in the chat for the number one community out there. Good to have everybody with us. Hello, hey, what's up, Snake Shot? Good to see you as well. Awesome, fantastic. Oh, yeah, Peter, you're, you're playing our game from last night. Fantastic. Hell in the air, what's up, and welcome back. Good to see you. Aw, chat. Well, thank you for saying hi. That's awesome. You guys are wonderful. And Nicholas here, too. I see the member bus pulling up. Lots of people joining. So welcome. Good to see you all here. Yeah, so again, uh, stream sponsored. Link description. Game. Good. New update. The uh, difficulties and the sandbox update. Good stuff. I uh, actually was frequently asked about Sandbox, and I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it would be this early. That's good. All right, let's just make a, make sure the settings are good. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, looks like there's some DLC content, too, on, on Steam must be a couple of different versions that add a, a few different things. I think I did see one of them called like the Save the World uh, Edition bonus content or something along those lines. So, Okay. Ooh. Play relaxed. The chef's suggestion for advanced players... <laughs> The Masochist Dream. Or Nightmare. No dream. It would be a dream. Okay, cool. Let's see Sandbox. Oh, look at that. Also the same. Easy, normal, hard, and then settings for particle storms, resource consumption, material consumption, energy production, raw material, or resource deposits, accident frequency? Uh-oh. Uh, pollution effect, food consumption, structural damage, building prices, starting population. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, what? Play campaign. Oh, you could actually have the settings for the campaign, too, if you want to. Damn, that must have been difficult as hell to figure that out. To make the campaign, like, challenging, but then also to allow it so you could change anything you want. Richard, Stacy, good to see you again today as well. Welcome aboard. Backstory on this game? Kim, I'm glad you asked. So, we're going to see an intro for this game. And essentially, it... Um, for whatever reason, when I see the intro to this game, I always feel like it's like the 1950s or 60s. But a lot of these buildings kind of seem more advanced than that. So it could be really any period of time. But essentially, what happens is... Catastrophe strikes... And humanity is attempting to turn Earth into a spaceship by 
um, building cities around these large things here. This, uh, I forget the exact uh, designation for it, but it basically generates like a gravity sphere around an area of land, and then it essentially rips up all that land and like flies. It's quite interesting, although unfortunately for these people, uh, things don't go according to plan, and they're about to have a bad time. You'll see. Uh, nope, that stuff's looking good. Yep, yeah, we're good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, first time in a while playthrough of Sphere Flying Cities. Now, since the game's still under development, we'll be kind of taking little uh, bits and pieces, bites here and there, um, over the next year until its release. So if you like Sphere Flying Cities, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and remember that we'll be taking a look at this every time that there's a major update out. Um, or if there's, you know, continuously content coming down the pipeline. Things happen. Development schedules get moved around based on, you know, bugs and, you know, emergencies and other things like that. So anytime there's something new, we'll check it out. All right, y'all ready? Sphere, Flying Cities. Let's go. I guess we'll play normal. A few weeks after the initial reports about the asteroid came out, it was undisputedly acknowledged in the academic world that it was going to collide with the moon. That was the day our world changed forever. Our reactions were as dark as science had predicted. Very little was spared from the destruction. No one from the disbelief. The impact of the asteroid shattered the moon into pieces, completely obliterating it. A thick layer of debris engulfed the planet, blocking out the sun. Fallout, flooding, darkness. Mankind was doomed. The recent discovery of anti-gravity gave us hope. This new technology laid the foundation for the future of mankind. The development of the anti-gravity device was a colossal undertaking. Scientists, mechanics, and engineers from around the globe came together in its creation. Everyone was anxiously awaiting the startup of the device. Then, there was a malfunction. During ignition, a destructive heat wave was released from the core. The surrounding area was almost completely destroyed. The device finally stabilized at a reduced capacity. And the ascension succeeded. You know what the device sounded like when they started it up? Yeah. It's breakthrough technology. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so uh not good. Not not good. Bad times, in fact, as I'm as I meant. Yeah, an oopsie. That's right, chat. An oopsie. Yeah, we're taking the mountains with us, Emily, that's right. Oh, the building looks much different. Maybe it's the DLC that I added. All right. Energy flow stable, life support online, life signs detected, 48, commander in charge. A devastating start from city planner McCormick. Finally. It's a good thing you're here. We need you to take over as commander. I know you're going to be thrown into the deep end, but there's no other options. Most of those who were in charge are no longer with us. It certainly isn't going to be easy, but... I have no doubt. Oh, I lost my spot. I was trying to be all dramatic. <laughs> um, most of those who were in charge are no longer with us. It's not going to be easy, but I have no doubt that you'll do just fine and take on the mantle of responsibility. The heat wave hit us so quickly it was awful. The AG device seems to be working for now. We made it above the dark clouds and debris. No one could have predicted this sort of catastrophe. The heat wave almost destroyed our entire infrastructure. 
The only thing we have working at the moment is a single power plant. If you ask me, we're just lucky to be alive. I'm Jacob, by the way, the city planner. Status reports show most of the colonists are safe. Lucky for us, they were in a protected area during the city's ascent. However, some are injured and need to be cared for first. There should be hundreds more survivors out there in escape pods. They must be in the neighboring sectors. Those poor souls need our help. They're stranded out there, and we should do whatever it takes to find them. Our satellite net uh, network is down, and we can't communicate with Earth. I mean Earth. We haven't <laughs> been receiving any distress signals from the escape pods. Basically, uh, nothing works right now. We're stranded completely on our own. We should start rebuilding with what we have left as soon as possible. Ooh. I th think that might be new, a little helpful screen on what to do. Hello, my name is Lynn. I'm the first officer. Medical support for the injured is necessary. Set up two aid centers. Ooh, this got fancier, man. Nice, a uh, nice UI at the bottom, showing the animation on how to do and how to place. I, I think one of the most difficult things to do in games is a tutorial that's not boring. Like, the nuclear option is to pull a player aside and like have them go through like a step by step, you know, like one, two, three, and like, you know, six, ten, twelve scenarios on how to play, and that is so boring and annoying. So, putting it in the campaign is always a good choice, and doing things with little videos where, you know, people can basically just watch a little clip is a good move. Alright, now this is new. I I don't know if we were ever playing with the, um... Th this is much different, this paint job. I, I don't know if we had this DLC on before. I, I guess I had the DLC installed, but, um... I guess we had it turned off in the game. It just makes this thing look fancy. Otherwise, this is just supposed to be white. But this reminds me of the uh, city, uh, the generator in Frostpunk, basically. But we'll see how all this goes. Yeah, it's a nice dome, isn't it? All right, so the way we always start this game is we, we start on pause, we reclaim buildings around us, and then we start building our city again. So let's take our time and make it look nice and... Uh, with that new power plant, that'll help us save some space because it'll take up less space. Oh. All right, healthcare, housing, food, energy, biosphere regulation, resource construction, and technology and society. Where's that new power plant? Ah, that's it. Oh, we also have to research in this game too, so. Did it have animals in it? Oh, good question. I know we'll be growing plants at one point. Uh, there might be the option to... Um, maybe... Maybe we can do that? Have animals? Alright, I'm gonna delete some stuff here. I have, like, a particular way that I kind of set up my city. It's always different each time, of course, but... I've got like a plan. We've done this so many times, it's like we're we're drilling for like a you know, the actual thing to happen. We're getting to be good at this game. Also, you know what? The bottom of this building reminds me of SimCity 2013 with the Cities of Tomorrow DLC too, so yeah, the building certainly looks nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, there's a Raptorian in chat. Cool. Welcome. Glad to have a, a big fan in the chat. As we delete buildings, we're reclaiming materials, too, to build more buildings. So in the upper left corner, we have food. Or starting up here at the top, water. Uh, compressed air and oxygen. And building materials, as well as our people, their loyalty to us, and air quality. Loyalty's bad. They're not very happy right now. And I don't, uh, I don't, I don't blame them. They found out I was... I was going to be their leader. Right, let's build another house. And let's build two medical bays. 
Oh yeah, there's also research. Ooh, they changed how that works. This is much nicer. Their uh, tech tree before was kind of like... You had to click on like four tabs or whatever. This is much nicer. You can clearly see it right here. You can see what each of the technologies are and then what's down the line. That's nice. That's, that's what we call at a glance. You've only got to look at it. Instead of like clicking on one, clicking on another. That's nice. So there's um, interdisciplinary technologies, environmental climate, engineering, security, and energy. But a lot of this technology can't be researched until we get certain um, materials. We'll have to start mining. That, UA, that, that looks slick. That's really clean. I like that. Okay. Can you produce beer? Uh, good question. I that that is totally possible since we can uh, we can make a plantation. So I don't know what would be stopping us from making uh, a brewery eventually. And, you know, future updates or whatnot. All right. So healthcare is here. We need to build two medical stations. Oh, now they have a radius of effect. Interesting. That's changed. All right. Let's build these back here. Wait for the drone to um, build and deconstruct a few things for us. So this is home. Check that out. Yep. Basically a giant floating... Um, what looks to be like... I don't know. Every time I see this, I just think of like... I don't know. Arizona, New Mexico. Something like that. Now, this is Earth. Well, it was until the moon exploded. But the ground below us is, yeah, technically Earth. Okay. Oh, look, there's actually like a transport vehicle there. It's like a little, little barge that transports uh, containers and stuff. Alright, so now we gotta build our city differently based on this update, so we have to worry about building it near the houses. So it looks like we can get away with building it across the street. Oh no, we could build it right here, and then build a few more houses. I guess I could build the houses back to back and then build a road in front of the hospital. Or the clinic. This is pretty much all the houses we're going to need to build. For now. And we'll build another one in the corner. Or we could put one back here. But I want to build under the sphere. I wonder if there's a way to make the hospital uh, more effective. What's our population? It is 48. It's up here um, on top of this building. We also only have housing for 16, so... And each of these houses hold... Four. Is the main building? No. The main building is only for science. It's not like a town hall or something. According to the English Concise Dictionary, Raptoria is a collection of games added to one's wish list after watching the YouTuber known as Raptor. Oh, really? Well, viewer, don't forget to check the description to check out Sphere of Flying Cities today. I. I'm really impressed with this game's ability to get... I played it from the beginning time after time after time after time. And though in some games it can be annoying to have to restart from scratch, this is one of them where the beginning I actually look forward to because, you know, I've got a, I've got a plan in my mind, but any time that there's a new update or whatnot, we have to actually, like, change our plan, so... Wait, does that mean it's uh, facing... what? Oh, not connected to... Oh, entrance not connected. Oh, we built them the wrong direction. I thought it would snap. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, 
that's my, my bad. I thought it would uh, snap the front of the building to the to the road. My bad. Well, now we know. Yep. Now we know. Oh, another thing we need to build is a drone operator as soon as possible. Good. Now the injured can be treated, but the survivors need shelter. Provide a number of residential units. It's required. Build single residential units for colonists. Yeah, we're cleaning up our workspace a little bit, I guess. Good to see you again. Hey, what's up, Mr. Cheddar? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome. Keep things nice and tidy. All right, let's do this again. Yeah, so look for the arrow. Makes sense. Oh, that building got damaged really quickly. Holy crap. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Eventually, we'll be able to upgrade the shield strength and radius, so that'll fix that problem. All right, so housing is being built as we are needed to do. So we're going to build our food over here, and then we end up building our radar dish here. The uh, thing they mentioned at the start for navigation. Hey, good morning, Jerry. Welcome to the Big O stream. Good to see you. Oh yeah, yeah. We we try to take a look at all the new games. Well, this one's been you know out in early access for a while, but every time that there's an update, I think they bring enough content at least to um, make it worth starting from scratch. But this game is one of those survival city builders where it's more about you know maintaining to make sure you got enough food, enough water. It's not really about money. Uh oh, storm coming in. All right. Um, we need to build more homes. Well, let's get rid of this for now because we're going to have to constantly replace it. Yeah, wow, that's going to continuously take damage. Let's get rid of that then. We just did that for the objectives to figure out what to do. But now we know. Oh yeah, I'm also live on the Steam store page, yeah. Well, that's a big thing. You'll, you'll see me on uh, mini games Steam Store page, and this is no exception. We take pretty good in-depth looks at games, and we have a good time, and that's what devs like to see. And so, that's good, I guess. I'm I'm good enough for for that, I suppose. That's that's fun. Enough residential units were built. Now reestablish food production. The food supply needs to be secured. Set up a plantation. All right, I guess I'll keep building a few more houses. This game must be hella difficult. It can be, but the developer did include now a difficulty update, so you can make things easier hard based on that. I just chose to go normal, because uh, things can be tedious in this and any game, so. Maybe what we'll do is build a hospital here and here. Oh yeah, that'll give good coverage, okay. Yeah, we're experimenting with ways to set up our city. Luckily, we get materials back for deconstruction. I don't know if it's all of them, but... Alright, now we got to build ourselves a farm. And from what we learned moments ago, it absolutely needs to be under the sphere. 
It seems that things have gotten a little more aggressive with the uh, destruction. Or the um, building upkeep, I guess you could say. Alright, building it there would be good. Alright, current goal is to build a plantation, zero out of one. Good, good. We'll take it nice and slow today. So that little thing with the blue light coming down is a drone that's doing all the construction and deconstruction. Eventually we can uh, build more than one of those and it'll make a, things a lot faster for, um, you know, if we get hit by a, some sort of a storm, a lot of our buildings will take damage, even if they're under the shield. If, it, if the shield's too weak. And um, that's a great way to maintain is having multiple um, drones. Uh, minimum food supply production has been ensured. The amount of available Wendy's is enough, I suppose. No, there's never enough Wendy's. Uh, energy is not sufficient for the upcoming task. Increase power production, build a second power plant. But it has to be built under the shield. Okay, so the red ring is the immediate negative effects by building near citizens. Luckily, that's that's pretty small, actually, compar in comparison to how much pollution it could produce. But I guess there's a lot of wind flow up here, so a lot of airflow. Uh, let's build hospitals. They weren't kidding, either. Hospitals you will need a lot of in this game. Under healthcare, yeah. All right, power plant is almost complete. There it goes. Building looks nice. Energy is necessary for the project's success. The AG device relies on a constant flow of energy. Energy production is our highest priority. Increase the priority level of an energy production site. We need a radar station so we can start analyzing other sectors and begin flying to them. We have much to discover, but should proceed with caution. Build a radar station. We're gonna make sure we're making lots of power. Hey, there we go. So one thing we're not told is that, you know, now we can expand the radius, so that'll make building a city a little easier. A little build building breathing room. Let's definitely get rid of a few of these buildings out of here. All right, we'll wait for the uh, drone to do its thing. This game reminds you of Project Aura. I've not heard of that game. <clears throat> this does have a lot of cool city building to it though, in terms of a lot of planning. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's what we call wind flow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're just clearing out the area. All right, so time to build our navigation. Essentially, it's like our eyes and ears, the radar station. Enables navigation and survey of other sectors. Plus, we also get to uh, launch drones from it, too. Uh, drone, 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 drone. Oh. 
Yes. Yes, this game has its uh, very own challenge to it, yeah. Some things are easy, some things are hard. I like the roads in this game too, by the way. They're actually just pathways for people to walk around. There's no, like, cars or anything like that until later. But in the ground, you can see, like, piping for types of fuels and uh, maybe water and electricity. Sometimes they put cables into protective piping and things like that, or at least it looks like that, so that's an interesting thing. I like the I like that building we're building now, the uh, radar station, because it, it kind of reminds me of a storm bunker. It's kind of an observatory. You can actually see, like, an observatory, radar dish, and, like, what looks to be an air traffic control tower. It's pretty cool. What's up, Riku Song? And hello, Rob Potatoes. Good to see you. Welcome, everybody, to the big old stream of Sphere Flying Cities. And remember, today's stream is sponsored, and you can find the link in the description of today's video. Perform a scan of the surrounding areas in the navigation interface. Interface? And that's a set to five, okay. All right, uh, let's do the scan. Oh yeah, this is exactly where we've started. So like the Southwest United States. Uh, let's scan. Let's send a drone to here. Set destination. Actually, I think we can just move there. It's, it's relatively safe. Let's scan surroundings, though. We'll figure out what's around us. Initiate a flight sequence in the navigation interface. This is it. This is it. We're moving. Oh, we should go where it's blue. Well, actually, we don't have a mining thing set up yet, but we'll go this way. We'll try to hit all the blue... The blue eyes are where we want to go. Now, Snake, thanks again for the eight months as a raptor egg. Appreciate the support. Let's go to there. It begins! Flight sequence initiated. Snug Squire, good to see you in the chat. Welcome to the Big O stream. All right, so right now we're moving towards the destination we set. So that's good. Excess power is at 97. We have housing for 48 out of 48, so we definitely should... If we find more people, we should definitely um, build some more homes now so we can be ready for it. There we go, that's nice. Yeah, we need to have extra housing set up just in case we find other survivors from the big oops. Whoa. We must be I think we're over Arizona State University right now. With all the clouds. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a floating island, yep. Yeah, the, the device in the center, this thing with the, um, the sphere and the... This large, like, um... Well, I guess another sphere. A complete sphere is protecting us and holding this whole thing up and moving us around, too. Pretty amazing technology. This looks like graffiti, but it looks like science. It's a good paint job, man. Alright, so now we have housing for 64. I hope we don't need any more than just these. I think what we'll do, too, is eventually we can upgrade to a higher capacity housing unit. Um, there is the multi-unit residential building and the other style of the same building. Alright, we're here. Build a mining drone hub and completely mine the resource cluster discovered in this sector. Alright, so now I'll jump to the other side so you can see. I got it. I'll fix it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so on the right side we can turn on and off water, which we're def definitely going to need, and uh, materials, which we need for fuel and for building, of course. So, uh, Where would mining be under? Resources and construction. There it is. The big O drone. The drone hub. Rub a dub hub. All right, you know what? In second thought, I think we're gonna build it like this. I don't know if it costs any materials to build a road. think so. So roads are free and insta-build. For now, anyway. Oh, is there another one there? Oh, yeah. Looks like the drone hub gets two uh, landing pads for drones. And is a pretty sweet looking building, honestly. We can also build little parks, so we're gonna have to find out a way to redesign the city eventually. Maximize happiness. Well, not long, and all the buildings on the island will be destroyed. Or, well, reclaimed, I should say. Capacity for water is a thousand, there's 900 here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start with materials. And we'll try to build a water tower to store. Oh, they changed the uh, maintenance drone size. Oh, they have two different drones now. Construction drone and maintenance drone. Cool. All right, that's new. All right, here's water storage. We'll build that down here. Water is one of those things in the game where, you know, you just can't have enough of it. Yeah, this is like industrial sci-fi. That's, that's a really good way to put that, John. Yeah. Yeah, an industrial sci-fi game. I mean, one of their most recent updates was the, um, was the uh, industry's update. So that was one of the first ones we tried out when it was... Uh, one of the first ones. Is this multiplayer? Most city builders are single player. Of all the ones I could think of, it's very rare for like a city builder to be multiplayer. There are a few out there, but uh, ones that have a 
single player, or rather a campaign, are usually single player. Uh, but this does have a sandbox mode now. It would be interesting if they implemented multiplayer. That'd be a great addition. I don't know if it would add anything to it. Other than, like, it'd be really kind of fun to actually manage the city with a friend. I'd like to see more lighting options for this city, too. All right, now our water storage capacity is up to 1,500. Wow, that only stores, like, 250 water? Okay. Sad face. All right, let's also gather the water now. Water levels are low, but we are starting to collect that now. We can also build a thing to gather water from the atmosphere, so water's not too difficult to acquire. It's called a hydro tree. Collects water out of the air, increased output when flying through rain clouds. Yeah, so it's an atmospheric collector. We should definitely build one of those. I think the farms might require water too, yeah. Neat. So water will produce raw vegetables. So at home right now, everybody's just basically at home just eating raw carrots or cabbage or lettuce. Not very, not very fun. So eventually we will build a Wendy's, yeah! Wendy's will survive. Can you steer your island? Yes. Yep. Yeah, you can. Kind of. It's not really steer, it's kind of more like a hover. <laughs> Gather 3,000 additional units of material by removing buildings destroyed by the ascent or by mining raw resources. Alright, now our drones are going to gather water. Carrots can be fun. Well, that's only if you have um, Hidden Valley Ranch brand ranch dressing. Oh, incoming particle storm. We should be okay. All right, so now we built a water collector. I wonder if it shows what our income of water is total. Although another problem in this game at the start is that, yeah, we don't have enough labor at the start. Not enough workers available to run this building, my liege. Also, I think in this game we need to gather wood. More wood is needed. No, 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 never mind. No, we're fine. Hey, rain clouds, good. So now we're getting increased water production. Very nice. Have they done any new updates with this game? Yep, we are playing the newest update, which is the uh, difficulty and sandbox update. Or at least that's the two things that it primarily focuses on with new buildings and such. Every time we play, it'll be a new update. All right, this particle storm will ab absolutely destroy everything outside the sphere. So we're lucky there. That looked good. That looked really cool. You can see all the other uh, buildings and stuff getting hit. Nice. All right, we're about ready to navigate away from this area and go find more resources. I love games where your city becomes a vehicle and instead of like building next to the resources, you just fly to the resources. I love that. All right, let's get out of here. We are done. Go see if we can find some survivors. We'll go here. If we can hover over that way. It's next door, so. No, 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 don't scan. Well, that's fine. Only takes a minute. So you can only build under the sphere. You can build wherever you want, but it's not a good idea that your building will probably get destroyed. Ooh, that's dangerous. Human activity detected, toxic cloud strength number one. We gotta go save them. Those are our people, we should probably... We'll jump in quick and then we'll dip out and go up here. Hey! People in Minneapolis survived, yay! I'm gonna go save myself. Well, let's, uh, go. Now let me check something quick. Uh, currently, the game is 13.49. It is 25% off for the early access and possibly for the update. So, 13 bucks for this? 
I think that's totally fair. At least for now. If you're watching this on Steam or if you're watching this in the future, just as always, make sure you check Steam for, um, you know, discounts or current pricing or recent updates. Those are... I love when developers add an update to their game and then they lower the price for new people to, like, feel welcome to check it out. It's pretty cool. Is it turn-based? No. It is a real-time building game. All right, we're going into some toxic clouds, so get ready for... Uh, in fact, uh, do we still have our Spaceman emote in the chat? Y'all better put your helmets on. It's about to get rough. Well, if we're going to get new people, we should probably also get ready to make more food. I could build a building and then turn it off. We could do that. Have the building ready ahead of time. Oh, she wants me to gather 3,000 units, too. Um, sure. I'll just uh, destroy a couple of buildings over here. Nicholas, thanks for the 14 months, my man. Ooh, all right, yep, hel helmet's on. Ooh, boy, that is some stanky right there. Hi, Shadow Knight. Good to see you in the chat as well. Sean McCarthy, you didn't miss it? Yep, we're, we're live now. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, Jessica B. with the 17 months. Helmet, 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 helmet bear. If I was to make a casino, or like, you know, a slot machine, that's what it would be. It'd be like raptor, helmet, emote, and then, uh... <laughs> And then Bear. Aw, uh, Nicholas with the happy birthday wishes. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much, dude, for the big O super chat. And yes, my birthday was uh, on Wednesday, so... Still feeling the love even now from chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, there are two editions of the game. Vanilla and the Save the World edition. That is true. And I think I activated that DLC. So there's a few other things like cosmetic skins and whatnot. So, Is this Frostpunk in the Sky? Yes, but also more no. I, and I totally agree with you that, like, this this thing, the anti-gravity device re definitely reminds me of uh, Frostpunk. But we don't have to, like, deliver stuff to it. We just have to power it. Ah, our first survivors. Whoa, that's massive. Holy crap. That is big. We're off to a great start. We've received a signal from one of the escape pods. There are 20 survivors on board in need of help. Do you want to rescue them? Hell yeah, we do. Rescue all of them. Welcome aboard, everybody. And apparently we have a power shortage, but I'm not sure why. I guess it's because some of these buildings came online, that's why. There we go. Alright, we're going to need to build another power plant then until we can access the big one. Oh, I love the lighting for the power plant. That looks nice. Rickshot, good to see you. Mardasa, good to see you as well. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, chat. Welcome. All right, let's build some more power plants then. We don't want to build too many and burn excess um, resources. And we need to get the hell out of here, so let's go ahead and do a quick scan. And then we'll probably dip out this way and go... Or maybe we can go north. Depends on what's around us. Good morning, chat. All right, scan complete. Ooh, yeah, no, nope, we're not going there. Uh, let's get ready to move. Set destination, we'll go back this way and then head up to the northwest. Did I do it? Set destination there. No, 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 set destination. That's weird, it like doesn't want me to fly back to where we've been. But I don't want to fly through this. Well, I guess we don't really have a choice, do we? Set this oh there it goes, there it goes. Alright, we're good. We're good. Yeah, the whole the whole world you can explore the whole world. The whole world is here whole world. The whole world. Did 
So who knows what you'll find. But we gotta go to each one of these little dots and try to rescue researchers and people all over the world who's... At least that's who we've detected so far. So it's an open world city builder, I guess, if you think about it. Kind of. All right, the fact that we have 63 people is amazing. That is huge. It's also a big problem for uh, food production and water, but I think we got it under control. All right. Let's keep gathering uh, materials. We can store up to 10,000. Can you expand your island? I think this is as much as we can build in, but we get better buildings to make more efficient use of our space. So it's kind of like how it is in Banished and other city builders where first you kind of fill things up and then you go back and redesign your city better. Not necessarily about being big, it's about being the best. Apparently this building has no labor, but didn't we just rescue like 20 people? Okay, to be fair, the power plant does take 10, so that's a pretty massive amount. How much is this producing? 170, wow. So without that backup power plant, we would only have like 3 power. And apparently this one took damage. It was from that storm. We should probably build that maintenance drone then. Hopefully that doesn't have a small area. Oh no. Um, well... Let's go ahead and build a couple maintenance drones. We definitely need to keep our power plants active. Wait, that covers that building, so we're good there. Ooh! Maximum food stored. So the community kitchen is like a Wendy's. It turns food into cooked food and it has a social effect. So if you build that, I guess it's like a canteen where everyone not only can uh, make better food there, more quality meals, but also um, they can like socialize and hang out. Is there a food storage? I don't see one at the moment. There is a material storage though. thousand out of three thousand being exposed to hostile environment will harm the colony increase the shield strength to level two requires air ionization technology research okay we will do that ma'am stand by there we go again all right we're on the way Research air ionization. All right, we've started the research. So we have housing for 80 people now. I guess we can keep cleaning up areas of the city that are destroyed. You'd love to see a first person version of this? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Walking around the city, being able to go inside the buildings. That would be, that'd be cool. Alright, so we'll be in flight for another two minutes. Our city must move really fast then, if it only takes two minutes to move from like... I forget where we're going, from like Arizona to like Nevada or something like that. 
Oh, particle storm incoming. All right, let's manage our people a little more effectively. So we have the food generator off for now. Let's actually turn both farms off for now. We got maximum food, so we don't need those on. So now the maintenance drone hubs are online, and the maintenance drones will start repairing. Oh, this one's not connected to a road? Oh, my bad. I didn't really think a circular building like that. I, I thought it would have access points on all, all directions. My bad. Yeah, eventually the bubble can expand. We can we can make this um, larger and wider, and we're researching um, ways to do that now. Nice, the maintenance drones are super helpful. All right, one thing that would be an, a little nicer at the moment would be to see different colors for the maintenance drones versus the construction drones. Oh, we got lots of material here. Let's start gathering. Now we should build a storage area for more. I think we'll make this our water area. Actually, we could do another water gatherer here and then maintenance. Not maintenance, material storage. Luckily, I don't think anybody actually has to work at these buildings and they don't take any power. So you get pretty lucky with that. It's free real estate. And I think this increases it by 250 as well. How are we doing on the research? Almost just finished. Oh, yep. Or no? We need to build a research station to do that, don't we? Oh, yes. Yeah, we need to build a technology center necessary for research. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Cool. So research isn't just magical. You actually have to build buildings for that and keep them running. Oh, cool. The science building has a new redesign, too. That's neat. Well, where should we build research? We'll build our research department near the houses. Now we're gonna to need to make sure we got enough people to work there. Yeah, we can't pick up buildings and rotate. We cannot, but that's okay. We'll just have to kind of be more cautious when we build. All right, I had completely forgotten that we needed a research building, so that's kind of cool. I like the way they look, very fancy. So now we're now we're generating research. As long as it has enough workers. So let's shut down the maintenance drones for now. Also from the asteroid fields or whatever you want to call them that we're mining, 
we're getting rare resources too, so those are actually providing us with, um... The rare resources are providing us with materials that we can eventually combine to make, like, new alloys and things like that. Alright, let's set destination to the next location here. And see if we can get some more, um... Some more workers. Why near the house exactly? Well, I mean, it cuts down your commute time to work. At least you only got to walk across the street. It'd make going to lunch really nice. You just go home. You can make some dino nuggies, some hot pockets, some pizza rolls. You know, it's the fu it's a dystopian future, but it's not like the end of the world. So, hope still exists. Alright, still not enough labor to run the building. Maintenance drones are off. What else can we shut down? I guess the, the mining hub, whenever we're not working it. There we go. Until we get enough people. Does the game feel like Frostpunk? Um... It totally gives me that idea of having like a, a radius in which buildings need to be built so that way they're protected and the people are safe, but it plays much differently than that. It, it feels much different, for sure. Wow, finally, a clear day. We can actually see what we're doing. Wow, not long and the uh, island is going to be completely clean and we can build whatever we want. I don't think roads get damaged. Alright, how's the research coming along? 16. Does that mean 16 out of 100? I hope not. Well, we're about to arrive at our new destination in 50 seconds, so hopefully we get more people. And with that, I'll try to build another technology center. Is there a way to save pizza rolls once they have freezer burn? I bet you could microwave those bad boys still. And then what you could maybe do is get a potato masher and put them in a bowl and mash them up and then add some seasonings and such. And then what you could maybe do is make some like, um, they do have breading, but I was going to say maybe make some pasta or something like that. Add that to it. I don't know. We'll try to research that in our technology center over here. Maybe we can, <laughs> maybe we can get some uh, research going and find out the answers to our real questions. Oh, come on, baby, give me another 20 people, 20 people, 20 people, five. Oh. Well, take them on board, and let's get out of here. Let's go to the resources. What's up, Wyatt? Good to see you. Welcome to the Big O stream. It's a stream. That's Big O. All right, well, now we've doubled our research. How many people work there? Only five. Nice. Oh, there we go. 63. All right, so research is going pretty fast now. Alright, food's getting a little low. Water seems to be okay, so let's shut down the water maker. For now. Fire up one of the farms. If you chop them up and fry them with some beans, you can make a pizza roll burrito. Damn, that sounds great. That's extra bread, though, but yeah. 
Good job, research department. Good research. That's some good research. Incoming particle storm. It's happening. I think what we'll do is we'll just keep adding power plants here. Yeah, getting a population going is incredibly important here. Yep, we're live on Steam 2. It's a previous version of me. It's past rap. It's pastor. Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Blessed be my child. Enjoyeth the content. Clicketh or tappeth thy like button. And subscribeth. Hit do bless. Alright, so we got 40 seconds. 40 seconds until we're at the next destination. How are we doing on supply? 8,458? Okay. Well, I guess I'll build things that we know we're definitely going to need. If we're getting more people, then obviously we're going to need more water. And we can probably build another plantation. We'll shut it off, though. Oh, it looks like... Oh, baby. I forgot about it. Yep, chicken farm. Somebody had asked, and yes, indeed, we can have chicken. Oh, baby. Chicken confirmed. You guys can have your dino nuggets confirmed. And aquaculture, which means fish. So we could have, like... Oh, maybe we could have, like, uh, fish and rice. Or, like... We could have tater tots and, and dino nuggets. Oh, man. The future is now. The future is today. Did we finish that research? Oh yes, finally. All right, shields up. Yeah. The larger a uh, larger workforce is mandatory. Increase the population to 100 colonists by locating escape pods to rescue survivors, or ensuring colonist reproduction. Ooh. So people can reproduce, they just need to be happy, so I guess we need to increase loyalty a little bit. Have we unlocked anything to make them happier? Ah, that's a new building as well. The instruction center. That mean like a school? Alright, let's build some nice... Little decorations now. Keep everybody happy. Okay, um... Water we're good on, so shut that down. Uh, any more research we can do? Oops. Actually, let's definitely save. And then... Oh, it looks like there's more people there next to us. Good. Plant growth. Additional mineral supply plantation increase output. Let's go for food output. More food means less workers that we have to put into food production. That'll be cool.
Let's activate our miner finally. Actually, we're doing research. Man, I need more people. Let's quickly shut that down. We're going to mine quickly and then we're going to get out of here. We got to get those materials. So now our... Oh, each material storage increases capacity by a thousand. So that's not bad. And it looks like we might need to build another power plant, although I'm not sure how long until we unlock the next one. And eventually we can delete some of these houses and upgrade to the tier two um, tier two buildings. And we're at 89% for plant growth improvement. Good. So I assume you beat the game when the whole rock is filled up. Um, no. Once you've filled up the rock, you can go back and redo some of the buildings and redesign your city by unlocking new technology. But the, I, the real main goal is to go around and uh, try to rescue everybody who survived, but uh, there's an overarching story as well, so... That's still in development since it's early access. So I, I'm not sure if there's really a true end yet. There is a point where you'll get to the end of early access where there's no more content, but you're free to continuously build with what's available. Excellent. New elements obtained. We have to mine out an area completely in order to find that, so that's good. food right now. We'll fix that. And now we have the new research unlocked for more food production. We have plenty of water. That's great. Increase power plant output. Let's do that. 3%. Very small, but given each power plant that we have, that'll be a big effect over time.
All right, so we're about two minutes away from getting more people on the ship, question mark? On the rock. On the Duane, so... Uh, hopefully they're able to give us more uh, workers for all of our buildings. The hair looks great today. Why, thank you. Chat is the best. Food's okay for now. With a low population of only 65, we can manage. All right, we have 62 people housed out of 72 possible spaces. So if we find more people, hopefully it's not more than 10, but we'll see. It'll probably be like 20. Hi, Justin. All right, loyalty's good. Loyalty's now increased to 44%. Shelter 27, food 33. It'll get better when we start to provide better quality cooked meals and, of course, better homes, too. One ninety two, excellent. Oh, good. Food's actually going up. Nice. Here they are. This is it. Moment of truth. Hey, twenty survivors. Fantastic. Now, problem is. We only have 72 homes, so we better build some new ones right now. Now what we're going to have to do eventually is probably delete these. I think the like the tier 2 housing has um I think it's like a two by two, so I think it'll fit, or like it's a three by one or something like that. We'll, we'll have to delete the old homes and upgrade. Luckily that doesn't take too long. All right, let's scan our surroundings. I think we'll go south and then... Oh, there's supplies to the north, though. Hmm. Well, we'll go south, south, south. We're getting close to Hawaii. All right, let's go. No, don't scan. All right, this one's going to be a double long trip. Alright, about six minutes. Well, the good news is, now with extra people, we don't have to worry so much about... ...having a lack of, um... ...a lack of stuff. Alright, so as for research... We've completed another task. Air collector boost. Plant safety, let's do that. We're gonna get all the basic research out of the way. Cool game, I agree too. I always look forward to an update because it gets you back into a game and gets you curious as to what's new and then of course to just play it all over again from already what's there. Good times. But I think eventually we'll see sickness. I don't know if two hospitals are enough to uh, cover everybody, but we'll see. 
All right, let's see if we got enough to operate all the buildings, at least maintenance-wise. Need to make sure the power plants are in top top condition. Water's at 725. So we have 74 out of 85 working. 78 out of 85. Having a little breathing room is always good. I guess you always want a little... You probably should always want a few more, you know, unemployed workers. So that way you can... If you have to turn on a building that requires a few more workers, you can just on and off whenever you need it. Like, for example, making more water. Or building something new, like the Wendy's. Let's, let's build the Wendy's. I don't know how long it'll be until people have children. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, they want us to build it near the neighborhood. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess people don't want to drive too far to the drive through. Makes sense. that a little bit later. Loyalty said 41%, so once we build that, that'll increase it a little bit. But I think the biggest thing is better housing. We arrived at our target sector. Wait, I told you to move down here. Not enough energy for flight. Really? Alright, another power plant it is. Bum, 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 bum. You stream every day, don't you? Yep. Yeah, typically we do two streams a day. Usually I put out a video. I've been enjoying quite a few games that we've been playing recently, so the videos have kind of slowed down. Plus, major releases coming out lately. Uh, some developers have been trying to avoid releasing their games at the same time. So we'll be seeing some new stuff soon, including this. With its new update. Operating. Turn off the water. Okay, can we move now? I guess that's why we, we stopped, is because we were out of power. We can keep hovering, but we can't move. It takes a little extra power. Alright, let's go get some more workers. Finish research, yes. Uh, increase power plant by five percent, yes. More power.
Wait, we went from 80 to 78? Loyalty went to 2, why? What happened? We have food and water. That's weird. Population went from 80 to 76. What's going on? Air quality is zero. That might be why. Ooh. I'm gonna try to load an autosave and prevent that. Wow. Oh, we can build a tree instead and it'll increase air quality, okay. Wow, we don't have enough people to do all this stuff. Air collector unit generates units of compressed air, much higher efficiency outside the dome, indestructible. Oh! So we can build those far outside the dome. sucks. We went from, uh, yeah, we lost, like, a bunch of people. Well, if this thing's indestructible, then let's build it down here. Quality, very important. Kind of weird, though, that instead of just, like, getting sick and going to the hospital, they just, like, insta-die. Oh, it looks like there are people in the hospital, so we don't have enough hospitals. But we also don't have enough people to work the hospitals, either. Oh, the refinery splits water and generates units of oxygen. Oh! Well, that's cool, so we can make air from... Oh, 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 that's massive. And that probably takes a lot of people. I will right, we'll wait till that building gets deleted. We didn't move through a toxic cloud, did we? No, we're, we're just moving through like a generally okay area. All right, so we need more hospitals, more clinics. We have a population for 96. But I'm going to reduce those and build more clinics then. Don't want to lose anybody. Our plants are negative 300, but they're nowhere close to our um, our people, so I don't think that should affect it too much. All right, so now we're generating oxygen again. I wonder what the compressed air is for. 
Is the bubble airtight? I don't think so. I think it's more of a shield that just deflects debris. Stuff of that nature. This is making compressed air. Air circulation tower. Oh, this is what emits the compressed air. Okay. So, this has to be like an outlet pipe for that? Oh my god. This is getting so complicated. That, does that take employees? Let's see. Workforce one. Oh boy. Well, reducing the homes and increasing quality of life is good for them. And we got new people. Ten survivors, good. That brings us up to 76, fantastic. Alright, so now we know we have to be much more cautious. And that there's much more bigger needs than what we knew of before. Luckily this building's indestructible. Just basically sucking in air. Hopefully that'll improve the air quality. And we need more houses again. Oxygen zero. But this should... Oh, it is... It is producing air. But oxygen is a better quality, I guess. Although I don't know why it's off. Current workers zero. We have more than enough workers. 54, 66 we have. Interesting. Let's shut down one of the power plants for now. Oh no, we can't do that. Yes, we can, wow. So shutting off one power plant we had one too many power plants, wow. That's crazy. So watching the impact on air quality is incredibly important. Now oh, we gotta keep moving. Yeah, so it's like, you need power in order to power your buildings, but if you build power, you lose your workers. It's like, whoa. Well, let's go ahead and reload that save, because that is, that is brutal. Well, now we know. So one too many power plants and it drops your air quality too much. So we have to mitigate that by building... We have to mitigate that by building more air compressor units. So now we know. Oh 
build those in advance this time. And actually, we could build some trees instead. Building trees. So we definitely don't want to build a fourth power plant. And we definitely want to worry about uh, power output increase. That's really what we want to do, is maximize power output so that way we don't have to increase power plant production. Oh yeah, we got to keep an eye on how people are, how many people are sick too. Is there a purifier? Well, there seems to be a way for us to uh, make compressed air and then release more air within the dome to try to mitigate pollution or to increase the air output. So we're gonna try that. That's a newer mechanic, so they may have changed how that works. That's cool. I welcome a challenge. We'll just have to learn to, to live with it. So this building can't run without compressed air. We have housing for 64, so we need more houses. There's a switch next to oxygen, but I think ox... So this building creates compressed air, and that's all it can do for now. Oxygen is made through the other building, which is the refinery, and the refinery splits water and makes oxygen that way. So the refinery makes oxygen, the air collector makes compressed air, So we can't, we can't provide them with oxygen yet, but we can provide compressed air. workers at the uh, radar station anymore. I will right, we'll shut down food briefly. I'm going to research more power output. Mining is complete. Navigation's back online. 
Now we can go down there. You know, I think every time you arrive at a destination, I think it's random as to how many people will be inside the life support craft, so... Or the li lifeboats, whatever you want to call them. So I suppose you might be able to do a little cheese to get 20. I always feel like you need the most amount of people. All right, good. So now overall air quality has increased to 81. Great. So we're now providing compressed air. Good. Now we could just build houses around the outside and add more trees if we want. Loyalty is at 44. Okay, well... Good thing we say there should be an auto save in the game then so you can go back and learn from your mistakes to which there'll be many food's getting a little low Go ahead and add people to that. So eight people can work at that building. 60 out of 65. Ah, so if we increase loyalty to 50, then they'll start having children. So that we definitely want to make sure we do. Let's keep saving. Interesting. Oh, there's food storage. I didn't realize that it had its own building. as well build one of those. Kind of cool though, like, you can almost have seasonal workers where it's like, okay, I'm low food, and then you can put everybody on food, and then once that situation's okay for a while, you can turn it off and have them go do res uh, research, and then have the researchers become farmers again. Air quality is 81, fantastic. Alright, we don't have enough housing for everybody, so we do need to build more houses. Another 20. Up to 85 now. Alright, we'll just go little by little and make our way towards the next. Our uh, population needs to reach 100. That's our next goal. And we're very close at 85. What's up, Phoenix Dark? Raptor are my friend? Are you asking me how I am, or are we friends? I mean, you know. We got a lot in common. Gaming and spamming Dino Nugget emotes and chat, you know? Uh, the, brink, the, the big, bright, blinking red areas are storms. Dangerous areas. You can go through those, but you're going to have a bad time. So it's best to avoid those, but if there's an emergency, you can go through them. Yeah, we're producing a lot of food now. Food production is uh, going back up again. 178, 181. It'll keep going up. Let's see if we can continue to increase air quality.
and loyalty. Oh, we still need more houses. More housing is needed. Cool. Okay. Yeah, researching clean energy would be amazing. Increase plantation output. Let's do that. We got nobody on water production, but water seems to be okay for now. Well, let's flip back on the maintenance buildings. So a lot of this game seems to be managing power. That is a very underrated system, is printing on and off power. We went from like Nothing to something. Air quality is at 73%. Loyalty is at 38. I'd love to build a community kitchen close to the people, but... resources here. Lots of materials. Mining is great. It gives us rare resources we need for research. But we have to mine the entire pile. Got to get people's happiness up. It also seems to um, be affected by the weather and such, too. could fit a building there and it's going to look really weird. But, got to do it. Got to get that loyalty up. We can move it later. We'll put some nice trees here to make it look pretty. There's a few things that's not explained. I I had to know to come in here and turn... Oh wait, maybe shuffle means that it'll automatically do that. Anyway. We need more workers. I'm going to shut down the tech now for a little while. We need more rare resources to research. Loyalty's at almost 
Maybe it'll go up with more food. We need more workers there. Once we shut down the mining hub, that'll be good. Shuffle means it'll be a different meal every time. Uh, maybe, or it, or the uh, game will automatically choose what's best. I suppose, like, when you're making vegetables, chicken, seafood, and maybe you can grow more things in the plantation, like maybe fruits. Maybe there'll be more things we can unlock. I think it'll all be different based on that. Uh, let's make sure we do a little bit of repair. Feel like a repair all button? Oh, good. Yeah, awesome. This building is indestructible, so that... That's awesome. This building is going to constantly get hit. We had to build it right on the edge. But it was needed. Well, let's save. Things are going quite well. Loyalty's at 51%. Yeah! We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves some babies. Beautiful. Oh, we got many ill colonists. Oh, boy. That toxic cloud is toxic. Oh, boy. Never mind. Hey. Well, I immediately take that back. Yeah, we need more homes again, too. We'll quickly build some houses there. So it seems like it's a much better idea maybe in this game to build another, even though the maintenance, um, even though there's maintenance um, drones, it might be a better idea just to use the construction drones because they can fly anywhere. Oh, we gotta get out of this toxic cloud. Oh, we got 20 people that are sick. No, 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 no. Hopefully that'll go down. Alright, let's shut off the mine. Start producing water. And then, um... Air quality is now at 75%. I think the hospital will work away from the homes. I think it just gives a bonus, maybe, to health to be close. I mean, if you needed medical treatment, but you had to, like, go one extra block, and you're just like, nah, I'll just die. I don't want to walk too far. shut down the farms again.
Loyalty is holding it. Oh, never mind. Air quality, 74%. They still have food and water. I really don't know what affects that. Yeah, we're building more emergency hospitals to deal with that. I think it'll increase our capacity. Right now we've got... Yeah. It works. Perfect. Oh, finally. Blue skies. All right, well, that's good. We're going to continuously and immediately continue to build more hospitals to deal with that problem. All right, so we have enough for... Eight, sixteen, well, plus one more. So we've got enough for 20 people. So we have hospitals for 20 sick. That's good. We're going to keep that then. And people are making babies. We have announced enough housing for 100 now. Oh, boy. Come on, baby. Ten, all right. Ooh, nice. We just need one more person. I think we did it. Even though it says 99, but I think we did it. On the path to mastering the AG device, we are still at the beginning. Research technologies, com uh, complex energy arrays, and complex energy arrays too. Oh, nice. New mission briefing. Step by step. We are so naive to believe everything would just fall into place. Of course, no one's ever worked with anti-gravity on, on this scale be uh, before. And we're venturing into uncharted territory here. What do people always say? Pushing the boundaries of science or something like that? But that's still not an excuse. We're punished for our naivety. Naivety? Uh, and we've paid for it dearly. The longer I think about it, the sadder I get. Too much was lost. Anti-gravity is not a technology that you can just mess around uh, with and hope for the best, and we've learned the hard way. If we'd known only how small and fragile the force field was that we've ended up working on, obviously we would have planned things much differently. This is so much that, uh, there's so much that we still have to understand before we can fully make use of the AG device. Back on Earth, some people were just starting to think about interstellar travel. But that shouldn't even be on our radar right now. We're lucky to be thinking about travel between sectors in the sphere at all. We should be grateful for even that. The only thing we should be doing right now is... Oh, that's a typo. Right, right, no. Right now is learning. But I guess by learning, we'll know. It's all about the more you know. Studying as much as possible about the technology and especially on how to handle it. And then we can continue improving our living situation step by step to get closer to re-establishing the colony we had initially planned. And ideally, we'll leave a footprint for the ascents of other flying cities. Ooh. Interstellar travel. Let's try expanding the dome to three rocks first. Oh, there's a little foreshadowing. It looks like we'll be work. So I think eventually the city is going to like, we'll find a way to somehow teleport ourselves away from Earth. Maybe to live in space or to some other Earth-like planet. That'll be interesting. All right, the colony's loyalty to the project is crucial. Meeting the needs of the colonists and making improvements in the area is highly is a high priority. Gather 1,500 units of food and stack, oh, and stock 
increase food happiness through more variety. She wants us to research chicken nuggets. You got it, ma'am. All right, we got to store 1,500 food. Okay. Well, we better build some food storage buildings then. So it doesn't say. Wait. Oh, we can now do a thousand. Okay, so it increases it by five hundred. So we can build one more. It's gonna be a little out of the sphere, but price is at a premium. All right. Let's get people working on research again. So we need better food. Where would that be? Environment? Air collector units are boosted and collect 20% more air. Wow. Poultry farming. We need to get uh, 2U. We don't have enough for that. We don't have enough for that. Construction is 5% faster. Pre service testing, that's free. We need to start getting yellows. Alright, we'll start with the. Uh, we'll start with faster construction. No, pre service testing. Then faster construction, and then plant safety. That's what we'll do. Uh, Bela, good to see you. Glory to Raptoria, absolutely. Welcome to the big O chat. Welcome, good to see you all here. If you're enjoying today's stream, by the way, don't forget to check the description where you can uh, go ahead and get the link to Sphere Flying Cities and grab it for the newest update. Good to see you all here. Hope you're enjoying. Today's stream is sponsored by them as well, so thanks to them for showing a little love our way, too. Can we get chickens? We certainly can. We certainly can. All right, let's scan our sectors. And we'll continue gathering more people. As we make things more effective, we won't need um, as many people to work the uh, buildings. Looks like there's resources directly south. Let's go. Flight sequence initiated. Going to gather more resources. Very nice. What's up, Tiger Gaming? Good to see him. Eddie James, good to see you in the chat as well. Welcome. Alright, so they want us to gather 1500 food and get food happiness to 50. So we should probably continuously be making food. Oh, low power. But if we build another power plant, the colony's going to die. Because we'll be making way too much pollution. So maybe by boosting that... Um well, this gives us a plus 75. But power plants are a negative 75, so... We basically need one air circulation tower per power plant. But that's going to cost us, uh, what, 30, uh, 45, 45 power? Wow. That's a big chunk. Goonies?
Wait, if there's 87 out of 100 people working and we turn this building on... Oh, it's a power problem. Okay, yeah. Still. Well, to be fair, I guess I could turn off a bunch of these uh, hospitals, too, for emergency overflow. We got plus 36. I want more than two hospitals now. We need a third one. Now the problem with mining is when we turn on... When we turn on the... Um, mining drone hub, it decreases air quality even more. I need to shut something off. Alright, I guess we'll turn this off. Oh, that's too much power. I'm gonna have to turn off a hospital. Okay, we're mining materials now. Research buildings are absolutely critical. In fact, we need to do more now. Let's work on faster construction. Oh boy, this is getting, uh, oof. Hopefully we're holding. Wait, that's weird. We have a hundred colonists, but only 96 of them are on homes? Maybe that means some of them are children? Not sure what to make of that. We have 100 colonists, but only 93 are living in homes, and 93 of them have jobs. So some must be kids, I think. Well, that means they're in the hospital. Oh, minus. Oh, okay, minus nine. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, 92. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. 92 plus nine equals 100. Clo close enough. Close enough. Maybe it takes a second for them to, like, check into the hospital or something. Who knows? Makes sense now. 92 plus 8. So, yeah, okay. What's this? Oh, hungry or starving. Okay. Well, we don't really have any more housing, so being at 100 is probably good. We'll have to hold there.
Research is at 90%. All right, faster construction unlocked. Let's do plant safety. Some of these things are prerequisites for other things, so even if they're not immediately beneficial, we still can do them. Or we should do them. Okay. Oh. We got a problem. We have more materials coming in than we can spend. We gotta build some stuff. Oh, we might be able to do maintenance. That might cost materials. But nothing's damaged. Let's build another food farm. Uh, let's see. This thing stores 250 oxygen. I don't see a capacity though for how much it can hold. Increases storage capacity for gaseous substances. Well, I guess we could build some more storage then. It'll cost us some material and also earn us some material. Uh, the plantations cost 300, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, da, bum. Ah, music in this game's good. Well, if we need more houses, I guess we'll build one here. We'll, we'll need a little breathing room for when we get more population. It's gonna happen no matter what. What's up, Mad Bear? Welcome back to the Big O stream. No bears in the sky, boys. Best game ever if there's no bears. We're in the clear, I think. need to mine the rest of the materials. Can we upgrade the dome? Uh, we can. We can increase the radius, but that's going to cost more power. And if we make more power, then it'll, it'll hurt the air quality and then we'll die to death. So we got to find a way to increase our power output without being too dangerous. What we really need is solar powers stations. We need solar power stations. All right, incoming particle storm. We got to get out of here quick. I wonder if we can actually see the drones going out. I've never. I've never looked before.
All right, so now we have a material storage capacity of 1,300. Yeah, we can build outside the dome, but with the problem with that is that they'll continuously be damaged and they'll stun lock the uh, construction drone. And the drone will be so busy doing repairs that nothing else will get done. Mamba Way's finished. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. And we're working on nicely on uh, making our food increase. Okay, I guess that building's not going to work for a while. All right, we're done. Let's get out of here. We'll turn water on. We have two water buildings going. Oh boy. Oh, we need more energy for flight. Uh, technology. Turning that off for now. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, materials will constantly be going down because we use materials to, um... Power our generators. Okay, we need more, we need more power for the flight. What are we gonna shut down? It's gonna have to be one of the food farms. Not enough flight energy. Well, what do we need for flight? Um, eighty one. Right lower corner shows energy for flight. You mean this thing here? I, st I still don't know what number that is though. All right, we're in order to go, we're just gonna have to like shut things down.
something that has to be charged up with excess power? It is moving. Oh, maybe it's a... It must be a thing that's on cooldown. It's like it's charging, not necessarily that it's a constant supply. Okay. Hold on. So maybe the more excess power we have, the faster it recharges that battery? Okay. Yeah, maybe it's excess energy, I don't know. I remember that always being confusing, so ho hopefully that's updated for some sort of a... Yeah, we can make the dome bigger. In time. Okay. Anyway, two minutes and 52 seconds until we're there. Actually, it looks like it's going up. All right, so water's going to be good. Let's make sure food production continues then. That'll take more water, but... I think we might be able to mine for ice soon enough. Seventy-one, good. Yeah, water's going down. So we're going to need a little bit more water. Those things take a bit of uh, power. 25, yeah. Wow. I guess we'll put one there for now. Red zones indicate dangerous storms. All right, we got 10 survivors. And we should be able to house them all with another hoose or two. We, we got 104, so we'll go 108. Yeah, so we're working on charging flight energy right now. How am I doing today? I am good. Yeah, solar plants we definitely want. 
In order to research that, we're going to need... These are like the amounts of rare materials that we have. We're going to need... Um, two of these and six of those. We can't research any of the yellows so far. Anything that's yellow, red, teal, or purple, we can't research. At least for now. All right, housing will be up to 112. Yep, good. We got 83 people working, so I could build another... To mitigate pollution, we could build another air circulation tower and then build another power plant. Might be a good idea. Build two of those, then we can get a new power plant. Then we can get out of the stun lock. Then we can um, expand the dome too. We can increase the shield radius, we just need more, um, more power to do it. We gotta get rid of the stun lock. Alright, so now we need more power. So we can turn off this for the time being. And give us a little breathing room to increase our productivity. So... Power plants are hitting us with a negative 225. Air circulation tower bonus is giving us a plus 75. But it should be more than that now. There we go, plus 150, nice. Air quality's at 100%. And that's gonna go away quickly as soon as we build another power plant. Bye. Build some nice trees over here, why not? It'll look pretty. Alright, with another power plant up, that means we can build more buildings. Power plant takes 12 workers maximum. Yes, this will be known as the Emperor Palpatine Memorial uh, Power Facility. And Casino. Alright, I got an idea. Watch out, Chad, I got an idea. Stay back. Yay, plus 225 power. Oh, yeah. Pay our taxes on some of these buildings. Some of them should just always be on, like the navigation station. Alright, so now we just need more workers. off again while we readjust. All right, we're making progress. This is good. Very good.
Ah, more breathing room. Check that out. Nice. Now we can build more. Feels good. Okay, so I did want to shut off two of these for now. Alright, so the power plants are taking away 300, but the anti-gravity device and the air circulations are giving us 225, plus 40 on the parks. Wow, residential buildings are actually produce pollution too? I guess it makes sense. How do we research um, chickens and stuff? Oh, poultry farming. Alright, so we're going to have to do more mining in order to find ourselves some chickens. Right, let's shut down food. We're going to need that extra workforce. Alright, let's scan... go yeah so um, if we go to this next mining site we might actually find a ton of water it is possible to find that and then with a lot of extra water we can put more into farming right now we can only have one farm on we still need more power sixteen people are sick my goodness Let's go ahead and turn on the extra hospitals. Get them back. Did I research the better hospitals? No. Can't do it yet. Soon. Soon. Can you terraform the mountains or I, I don't know actually. That's a good question. There might be there might be a way to go inside those and mine resources out. There could be something in there, I don't know. Anything's possible. Well, it looks like we need more houses. good we got a lot of extra stuff taken care of there all of a sudden loyalty is good so the population will increase make sure everything's repaired in a little low on materials but we're about to go mining, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. 
Here comes the particle storm. It looks like we have 910 compressed air. It looks like eventually we're going to have to build another air compressor, but for now, since it takes so much power, we'll just kind of like worry about it in a little bit. No water, but plenty of minerals. Oh, well, we got lots of water now. Up, grab some bud how you doing welcome good to see him yeah the kitchen is directly next to the homes which means I'd probably build my house right here that's my house right right here I think it's still a little too far from the Wendy's I'll have to like turn left twice to go I'll take a left turn get in there but All right, right now we're a vegetarian, but we're about to get chicken. Also, when we mine these materials, there is a chance that we could find some of the U's that we need, the yellows. We need to find some of that, that yellow mineral so we can research more. More research is needed. All right, I think what we should do is max out water to 1,500, and then shut down water, and then just go straight up farming so we can hit that 1,500 goal. But also, food quality needs to be increased to 50. But we'll get there eventually. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that alloy. I have not heard of that. All right, 650 resources still around. So it looks like we can make raw vegetables, seafood, meat, and then cook vegetables, seafood, meat, and then something called refined. Which I guess is a maybe something the community kitchen can make by combining like vegetables and meats, proteins. That's good. Almost done with the mining. Probably two more trips and they'll be done. 150. There it goes. Alright, shut it down, boys. The navigation center back online and we'll get out of here ASAP. Feminist Hearth, thank you very much for the 10 big O super chat. Thank you very much. Let's get some ramen packets in chat. And thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for, uh, I don't know, subbing, saying hi, joining, liking, whatever. If you've done that, thank you very much. No need to, but good to see you all here.
All right, so now what we're going to do is move out of here. Now that we just finished that, let's scan the sector. See what's around us. Impressed air, that's the number for that. So we went from like 890 to 740, so we're definitely going to have to build another one of those. Which means we could build another power plant. Let's go get those resources. Alright, we could build another power plant. Population is at 119 with 101 working. Power plant, I think, takes 20 workers. 12. We're going to have to build another one. Are we winning? I think so. We're starting to create a ton more food now. Alright, air quality is going to take a hit, but we should be fine. Hey, what's up, Kevin Trudeau? Good to see you. Welcome. All right, air quality taking a little dip. So we're going to need to build some more biosphere regulators. And another. air collector unit. I think we'll build that far outside. got to counteract all the uh, power problems. What's up, Justin? So those things are like basically pumping out a bunch of fresh air. blowing the uh, pollution away. It's somebody else's problem. But also mine. Alright, let's mine those minerals, boys. probably eventually put them down here in the corner. I'm sure that type of building will still be useful. So we're almost to 100 and, or no, 1,500 is what we need. Yeah, Pinto bless trucker hat, brother. Amen. Oh. 
bum, 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 bum. Wow, we still have the Bradford Bless emote? That's got to get out of here. We, we got to get all new emotes. Speaking of which. Helmet check. Everyone got their spacesuit on? You're going to need it at this altitude, I think. Maybe. Yeah, we can't really do any more research until we start getting yellows. Man, constant illness at 100% air quality? I wonder what another way to fight illness would be. I wonder if there's prevention, like better quality meals so everyone has more vitamins and such to uh, better fight that or something. Oh, nice. We found four reds. All right. Um, what can we research? We need yellows to do the, the chicken thing. Oh, we can research uh, clean energy. Hell yeah, brother. All right, let's research that. So let's shut down mining. We're going to be here for a little bit. shut down. What's up, Godzilla Earth? Good to see you. Yeah, with solar power, hopefully solar power will probably make less than the uh, larger power plants, but... Maybe it'll take less workers, so it'll even out or something. We'll see. Indestructible, so we can build those far away from the sphere. Hell, you know what? I think this area is about as far as that area. Pretty close. This is a little further away. Searching the solar now at 92. Excellent. Very good. But 
material storage is 12,000. Alright, so once we get to 1500, we just need to start getting the... We gotta go mining more to find yellows so we can research uh, fish or poultry. I think poultry will be first. So that's good. Let's gather up the rest of this stuff. We're cleaning up this city. at 230. I wonder if that's going down. Wait, are we researching? Oh yeah, we finished the solar panel research. Excellent. Got lucky on that one. Uh, produces small amounts of energy. Workforce 3. Maybe there, instead of saying energy consumption, it should say energy production. If it says... If this makes about 200... These make 189. So this probably makes, like... I guess we'll have to test it. I'm assuming maybe 50? Only employs three, so that's good. Let's build two. produce 30 so not not bad if you need a little extra power without building another massive power plant plus they don't they don't take any materials to operate they just take workforce so okay that's good to know so 30 very small all right we almost have the food we need now we just got to get the quality up we're 31 out of 50 so as soon as we get some chicken going that'll be good Population's at 144. We only have housing for 136.
All right, that gives us a little breathing room. Four fifty materials for one solar plant. Plant for thirty power. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's that bad because it'll never take anything else again. Once you build it, it won't take any more. As these power plants are running because they're consuming, they're consuming materials every time they operate. So those have cost us way more. But we'll see. Water's actually going down. We make some more water gathers. All right, let's get some water going again. We'll get out of here pretty soon. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. The floating island looks like an oval. That's true. That's a big old oval. Big old oval. Well, I guess we're ready to travel again. Let's see if we turn this on. It has enough workers. Cool. Well, let's go to the next resource site. And then we'll make our way up there and see if we can rescue those people. Well, the city's almost completely cleaned up. I don't see any more uh, junk around. Yeah, that's it. Oh man, those people got actual roads. Oh, we only have 70 compressed air, so we got to build another one. I wonder if it hurts them to have them next to each other. No. It doesn't seem that's the case. Oh, we're going to need to make another one. Another one. Great, food is maxed out for now. Shut one of those down for now. That'll help increase water a little bit more. All right, we're a minute and 16 seconds into our travel. could do another construction hub. Yeah. Looks like we got a lot of sick. I think I'm going to get rid of these maintenance bays. Just go for the uh, the big O drone. All right, we're almost here. We're going to start mining again. 
Was that water? Oh, wow. That's a lot of water. Whoa. That's a lot of water. Ooh, baby. All right, these are getting shut down. All right, where's our water storage here? We're going to need to build a heck of a lot more of that. Let's go ahead and start mining water. The water capacity right now is 1,500. We've got almost 3,000 water here, over 3,000 water. So we better start collecting that. And start pumping out food again. Yeah, we're mining ice, basically. That's what I assume. Okay. Maybe by mining this water too, it'll give us more resources. We might get more yellows, and then we can finally do the chicken research. Finally get some chicken nuggets. Yeah, the radar's off for now, but uh, we're, I guess we're kind of good on survivors. We definitely want to keep finding more of those people, but, uh, and we need more houses. Let's see. Could store gas over here. Move this out of here for more housing. Good way to cancel the cancel.
Oh, water mining's going pretty quickly. That's good. Yeah, the mountains get in the way sometimes. But that's why it'd be cool to actually like mine into those or drill them drill them out or something. So we can store 1,250 compressed air. I'm assuming maybe what will happen in the game is eventually perhaps we have to raise our altitude and the air will be thinner, maybe? Who knows? Maximum food. Try to gather the rest of those resources. Okay, so now the next thing is to finish off those two waters. One more water. You're Googling your closest Wendy's? Oh, yeah. We got one right here in our city. Kind of like a community center. You can actually see, like, lunch tables and stuff on the roof. That's kind of cool. Not bad. Justin T. with the 999. Happy belated birthday. Hope you had a great day. I certainly did, man. Thank you very much for the support. Big O. Thank you. Oh, no, no resources. Must only come from the minerals, then. Okay, let's get out of here. Scan the area. Glad the scanning is very quick. It doesn't take very long to scan. Almost at Michael Jordan altitude, yeah. Alright, let's turn these back on. Yeah, we're scanning. We're using the Norden antivirus scan. We still have two reds to research. We also have six greens, but we need way more than that for some of that research. I guess the solar the nice thing about solar panels is if you don't if there's like a little nook or a cranny that you need to build uh, you want to use to make efficient use of the space, you could always put those somewhere. So 2,000 for food. We gotta find some yellows. The only way we're gonna find that is by mining. That's the only way we can do chicken research. We gotta research that chick chimkin. We'll probably build them right here. The whole game has been leading up to us getting chicken. <laughs> the final objective. Chicken. Nope. 
Yeah, a bit of RNG on that, both in where the minerals will be found on the map, and then when you do find them, if it'll actually give you the materials you need. Which is okay. It makes each different... Uh, it, every time you play, a little different. All right, once we got enough compressed air, we can shut some of these down and save power and workers. Although it only takes two people. Water looks like it's holding steady or maybe increasing. Well, if we're going to fit those chicken coops in, we're going to need to probably expand. We've arrived at our target sector. Good. Now we'll find the Walmart sector. Save a little money. Let's scan our surroundings. Alright, there we go. What if the red zones get uh, rare minerals? Well... You can go into those areas, and they probably have some really good stuff. Yeah, red zones are towaway zones. They're violent storms. There could be good resources in them. But it's best to just stay away for now. The only way we can complete this objective is getting yellows. It's the only way we're going to get that chicken, y'all. Or... Once we get to this destination, we're going to have more workers. That means more food. Hmm. And we're already getting more uh, people to be born in the city, too. More survivors! We found them with five. All right. Come on aboard. Let's scan. Let's look for more rare resources. Good. Good. Good.
Hopefully they... <clears throat> Hopefully that's the last of the housing we'll need to make. Also, we're low on minerals, so we're going to need to switch to solar, I think. Because we, uh, we're burning through a lot of those materials, and we're going to need to invert those materials to... Um, to solar. We, need, we might need to switch to solar. Each of these are making 189, though. So four, 450 per solar station for 30 energy at the moment, at least. And maybe it'll increase later. Perhaps later in the game we'll get better. We could probably research, you know, upgraded solar stations that give us more power. That might be a thing. Can you make yellows out of red ones? I think that may have changed. I don't I don't see a way to do that anymore. Oh, wait, maybe. Element conversion. In the element conversion interface, stored elements can be converted into different ones. Element conversion from rarity to higher rarity is possible. Standard rates convert elements. I think... Where is that screen? Element inventory is accessible from the statistics UI. Oh, there it is. Wait. So you can't... Alright, so there's common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. But we can't reverse. We can't convert a rare, like, too rare to, like, four uncommon. But if we're going to convert, if we're going to get yellows, we have to convert commons to uncommons. So that means we need 20, what was the research cost? 20 plus 6. So we need 26 commons to make 2 uncommons. And then have the 6 remaining for the research. Wow. And that is if we don't run out of power. All right, well, now we should have housing for 212. All right, so housing for 212. Hopefully we don't build anything else now. Let's make sure everything's prepared. Keep everything in good condition. All right, 40 seconds and we'll be at our next destination. We'll just keep the uh, extra health centers on for any sort of freak outbreak. Yeah, so the air circulation units are doing 375, and the power plants are doing 375, so that negates that. Residential buildings are negative 159. Wow, 
Now let's go mine those materials. All right, hopefully by mining these two materials, we'll get a bunch of uh, commons or uncommons. Hopefully we don't get any rares, since we can't convert them in reverse, which kind of sucks. Could build another mining unit in order to increase the speed of that so we can get more done. Costs us 65 power though. But we need speed. Mining double fast means that we can get into an area and get out ASAP. I, I guess the city's really got to constantly be moving. And maybe another construction drone, but... Alright, so we got eight commons, so that brings us up to what is it, 14? Oh yeah, 14. Down there at the bottom. Okay, so we should be uh, mining and refining as fast as possible. Mining takes up a lot of people and a lot of power. Food quantity to 50 with a kitchen, I think. We did build one. It does help the... Uh, let's see. Food quality is... Well, we can see it at 31, but... I think it's making enough food for everybody. <sighs> Only two rares. Uh, Eden, welcome as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. Welcome aboard, yeah, yeah. And an upgrade to raptor ultimate, yeah. Wow. Member bus spam in chat. Welcome back to the big O raptor ultimate, yeah. Let's go. All right, we're going to go get more minerals. Not enough minerals. Yeah, 
Yes, we need a lot more of these. So four epics to convert to legendary, six rares to convert to epic, and uh, eight uncommon for rare, and then ten, uh, ten commons. Is this for water? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll build another water storage there. other way around. There we go. What's up, Neos? How you doing? Wishing everybody a good morning or afternoon or what have you. Two particle storm. That's going to cause some damage. since we've saved. Let's make sure we do that. If you're watching the Big O Strim, welcome to Big O Strim, brother. Amen. Tucker Hats, brother. Alright, um... Yeah, we're good. We have housing for 212. With a population of 205, 137 are working. Not really much else for us to do at the moment. Other than do some mining, brother, yeah. I swear Raptor looks like the dude that plays Star-Lord. You mean Chris Pratt? I am also Chris Pratt. Oh, do you have to have planes flying around looking for resources? Well, we can scan for resources. We can also um, send out drones. Right now we're sending out drones to mine for them. I don't know if we can actually see that. Maybe it's under us? I'm not sure if that's like under us or if that's just coming with us because the uh, anti-gravity device, but anyway, there's drones going out there. I guess I wish it would show that. It would be nice to see. Oh, there it is. So yes, it does show. But I don't know if you can actually see the mining. That's green, that could be like uncommon materials. Mining is so much faster, that's so good. Oh, eight commons, beautiful. We need 26 for that chicken. And we've got 24, we're close.
All right, scanning surroundings again. You love me in Parks and Rec, thank you. And you may have seen me in my uh, my Jurassic World, really my documentary. Just recording my daily life. Okay, let's go over here. And then we'll work our way up there. More minerals, yeah! Good music, I like that. Alright, we're gonna get more materials, we're making a ton of food. I'm gonna try not to build anything because we do need a little bit more material. And I don't want to build another power plant either unless it's solar. Lots of space over here to build stuff. Yeah, we might be able to find... Uh, maybe we can find better stuff in the storm areas, maybe. But I don't know if it... Uh, you know, everybody's going to get sick. I think we want to upgrade our shields before we do something that crazy. I'm actually going to make a big solar array. Until we can make the big power plant. The good thing about the big power plant, I think, is that even though it takes materials, it's probably going to be more energy efficient. It'll probably, you know, put out a lot more power for the materials that it uses, and it'll be able to make more overall. Well, that's good. Do a big solar array here. Might eventually allow us to delete one of our power plants. Of minerals here. Oh, baby. Poglad. That is that is a, a big pog, ladies and gentlemen, right there. The pog. The big pog. Be cool in future updates if those solar panels actually turn to track the sun. Now, there is a day-night cycle in the game where it does get darker, but I don't think they ever... It looks like they'll always produce 30 no matter what, so that's good. Oh, we got a lot of mining to do here. And we're going to end up with a ton of materials. So that's what... Two, four, about 6,500 in addition to the 5,000 we had here. That's going to be full capacity, baby. Or at least close to it. And three chances to get rare materials. Good. Nice. The shield's getting big O. Big O shield. Loyalty's at 52%. People want that chicken, baby. 
We gotta give him that chicken from Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Oh, it's good stuff. Hey, there we go. All right, do we have enough to start research? Yes, we do. Oh, well, not necessarily. Wait, these buildings don't take power, do they? Yes, they do. Of course they do. Honestly, the solar power plant is a pretty good building. At least in terms of its size. It fits into a good spot. I'll look forward to when we can actually make a hospital and then we can, hopefully that holds like 20 people, we can build two of them and that'll probably be all the hospitals we ever need to build. Have a 40 capacity just in case and then, you know, good to go. Good for the whole trip. Alright, a little extra wiggle room on the power, that's nice. Now, I bet when we increase the shield strength, that's going to massively give us, uh, we're going to, our power requirements are going to skyrocket, so we're going to have to worry about that. Well organized? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'd say this is probably the best city that I've built yet. like building the trees next to the healthcare buildings is good. That must give some sort of ha uh, happiness bonus to the citizens. Alright, we should be able to start the chicken research. Yeah. Poultry farming, dino nuggets in chat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves... Well, we will. Chicken. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for chicken. Smash like if you like chicken. Become a member. Click or tap join if you like chicken. Check the description to download Sphere Flying Cities if you like chicken. If you like chicken, I think you'll like this game. It, it, chicken confirmed. It does have chicken. The old McDonald update. Oh, yes. Chicken is the best. Hey, 10 and 2. Awesome. That, that was beautiful. All right, let's fire up the communications array. Scan surroundings. See if there's any uh, materials around us. Yeah, we were able to get uh, a ton out of that, and we were able to build a lot of new buildings. Um, I don't want to risk going into a storm, so we're just going to kind of make our way up there. Light sequence initiated. And once chicken research is done at 57%, that'll increase the food quality and then we'll be on to the next objective. Looks like they're making just enough food. But we could probably build one over here and expand the houses down this way.
chickens are cool and all, but there's an alarming lack of bears in the game. Yeah, it's because they all went extinct when we when we played that other game last night. Cave Bear Simulator. Not the name of it, but they died. All those bears died to death. 95. Oh my god, time for chicken. Chicken research complete. Oh, we can also do aquaculture if we... I don't know if we can make more than... Can we make, like, fish, chicken, and vegetables? Is there, a, like, a meal for that? Wait, there's got to be a building that combines chicken and vegetables to make a better meal. Oh, food factory. Okay. Food factory and food processing plants probably like the tier two for that one. Chicken farm! We can do chicken parm on the chicken farm now. So let's build another Wendy's. We'll have the vegetarian Wendy's. And then we'll have the, uh, the nice Wendy's. I like when games give you a, a weirdly shaped building and you just, you gotta deal with it. Like they give you a building and you're like, oh, this isn't like a two by two, it's like a one by one and then a two by eight. All right, that will allow us to increase the food quality and that'll let us go on to our next goal, which is probably more research, but because we found a ton of minerals and such, we might uh, have what we need for that. Chicken stock growing. Yep. Cooked meat recipe. Good. Cooked vegetable recipe. Good. All right, hopefully that'll increase uh, food quality over time. We could also just research fish and do that as well, build a third one. Water demand for chicken farms is reduced by 20%. Well, oh, that'd be pretty good. Oops. Oh, if you don't have what you need, you can just go to the converter screen. Okay. That's 10 to 1, though. That's so much. I don't want to do that. We could do more comfort, though. Second residential building is unlocked. Could be good. But I'm more concerned about materials now. Getting more comfort. No, we can do this one already. Better treatment for colonists. U, U6. Damn. Some of those things are expensive. I, I think we should do the medical treatment because people are always in the hospital. And if we can get that... If we get them out of the hospital faster, that's going to be a good time. Nope. Well, let's scan first. We just gotta find mining now. We just gotta go mining, 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 mining. Scan of surrounding area is complete. Let's go mining. We don't always have to go to the population now. I guess, I guess they're in like cryo sleep. They can wait. Uh, 
Let's make another chicken farm. Or we could probably make some fisheries. Well, hell, we're storing the water right here, so why not put the fish next to the water? One is cooked meat, and one is cooked vegetables. That'll be good for morale. So then, what do we got up here? Okay, so we have 24 cooked vegetables, zero cooked meat. Meat. So we probably got to build one more to have fish, which would definitely give us a higher quality. Oh, look, there we go. It's going up. It's going to take a little bit, I guess. We'll do cook, two cooked meat. Well, now this is just secretly a fast food simulator. Well, we'll need a third one regardless. So we can make more, uh, the three varieties that we'll come up with soon. Well, people are loving that chicken. Chicken, chicken, vegetables, good. All right, let's shut down water for now. Reduce on that a little bit. Save. Well, we found water. We found some water, Shut down the water evaporators now. Are there other floating islands we can trade with? Perhaps. Yay, mission six, colony advancements. A population of 200 colonists is necessary to maintain the infrastructure. Additionally, imp improved healthcare and more advanced housing for colonists is required. Research required to un unlock um, healthcare centers, multi-residential medical care, and more comfort. Okay. So it is now mandatory research. So we need to have a healthcare center and three multi-story buildings. She's right, because we need more houses. People are breeding like rabbits. Let's do the healthcare building first then. Second resident residential building's unlocked. We're gonna have to do these. One, two, one, two, three. Bum, bum, bum. 
Yeah, it would be cool if there was other islands we could find. I guess they only allude to this one, but... There are other survivors, but who knows? Well, happiness is now at 62%. It's like we need two of each. All right, I guess I'll let them shuffle based on what's needed. We'll let them automatically make more of whatever we have less of. Do people wake up from cryo sleep to join the city? I'm not sure. I we find ships, and I'm thinking that these people are either sleeping or something have survived that long. Alright, all done. Alright, let's do a scan real quick. Yeah, we're kind of in space, kind of. Like, we're well, we're certainly not on Earth anymore. It's like we're on a space station. Uh, let's go north to Alaska. Go north to Russia. Amen, brother. Yeah. Can we put stuff on the hill? I don't I don't think we can build up here, but it would be cool if there was something in there or if we could build inside of it, that'd be cool. the research okay so now we can build better houses now we need accelerated healing and then finally medical care Wow. we're gonna need 11 on commons Crazy. Well, we have better homes now. We we're supposed to build at least one of those. No, three. It's a two by three. I think these are the same, they just look different. Well, it's gonna be interesting for city planning. Yeah, it's the same. There's just differences in the appearance, I guess. We're getting low on materials, so I don't want to build those just yet. I'm 
glad we're making all this extra power, but... Uh, I want to be able to shut down one of the power plants and convert fully to solo. Uh, solar as our solo or our main power. We don't have to have any fuel running costs anymore. We're going to have to get ballsy and start going into the uh, the um, into the uh, storms. We're going to have to do it. I'm sure there'll be some sort of uh, research that we can do that'll actually lower the time. Or rather, increase the rate in which power comes in. Alright, we shut down all of the uh, water things. We need water. Turn those back on. Research can be off. How am I doing? Good. We're going to shut these down, too. Completely out of water. 19 people are sick. How are we doing on food? I'll shut down two chicken farms. The chicken farm is gone for the chicken parmesan. Sad face. Okay. We need more water. So chickens and fish take up a lot of water. And one of those research portions is to ensure that we reduce the amount of... Uh, we can reduce the amount of chicken like dedicated water or whatever however much they they say yeah so we can cut that in half or whatever so that'd be cool we're down to 800 materials uh oh but we need water So we could shut down a couple of solar plants to get a few more workers. How much is it to build a new house? 600, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, we need more drank. Chickens. We gotta reduce. We gotta research reducing the chickens' um, consumption of water. But that's at the very end of that line. But it all comes down to a: where are the materials? And b: can we, when we mine them, can we get the ones we need? We need common and uncommons.
All right, let's see what's around us. Oh, uh, yep. So we certainly don't want to pick up any more colonists. If the blue areas are rain clouds, that might give us a better bonus for gathering um, water. Oh, there's materials though. We got to go there. Go, baby. Light sequence initiated. Well, we got a lot of chicken. Jutting down another farm so we can get those uh, water numbers up. If we just get a rain cloud, that'd be great. Luckily, roads are free, I think. Pretty sure. Alright, so it's going to be all over. If materials hit zero, it is that is GG. We won't be able to produce enough power to keep this thing running. If it's just water, we're dead. And this is just the normal difficulty, so the game can be much more difficult. We'd also put it on easy, too. Let's see what happens. At least water's coming up. We gotta increase food output, though. But I don't really think we need much more happiness. Oh, good. Looks like we got some water too, so that's great. All right, let's shut it all down. Fire these up. So we do have water and we do have minerals or materials. Great. We live to fight another day for now. And we could find more common or uncommon materials. So that's good. A level three particle storm.
All right, I don't want to build anything until we've got a lot more material. Each of those houses costs like 600 material, and it's like, no thank you. We're going to build three of those plus a medical center, so... That's going to take a minute. That's just going to take a second. Space chicken equals next level nuggets. That'd be us. Did we not get anything from that? We have six and three. Wow, scammed. You should get something every time you mine. Um... Let's get out of here. Scan the area, find out where we're going. I swear the rain clouds must be uh, blue. Background visuals are outstanding. They're quite, they're quite nice, yeah. All right. Now we're not making enough vegetables anymore. We need more veggie tables. We could probably make some down here and then do some uh, housing elsewhere. No, or we could just make veggie veggie for now and then we'll do uh, fish later. We need more vegetables. Well, luckily, the chickens are quite reliable. I wonder if the chickens actually take food. Oh, they... Oh, that's what's happening. I didn't realize that they also eat raw vegetables. Makes sense. Can't get it for free. Compressors to come back on. Oh, thank God, there's rain clouds here too. So blue does equal rain clouds. So so long as we hang out here, we get an increased water production. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to fill her up. I see. You can only have as many people as you have housing for to work. Can't work without homes, so... Let's at least build a house, then. It's gonna cost a lot of materials, but... Got to do it if we're going to get the buildings up and running.
Now we got power problems. Research is off. Solar panels are still making 30. Okay, since we have so much in terms of water here, let's actually turn these off. And we sh should still be able to make enough water. not still going down now it's going back up all right now we got enough homes for 272 Most people have phone, phones, homes, but uh, we got a few people in the sickness. Yeah, the solar panels still produce 30 no matter what. We got to get out of here. We got to find uh, some more rain clouds, uh, more materials. We got to get out of these rain clouds. And lucky for us. We found some. This is where we're now just flying by the seat of our pants, and uh, it could be over at any moment, or we could be saved based on what we find in these materials, you know? If we happen to stumble upon a bunch of, like, uncommons, that'd be awesome, but a lot of this comes down to RNG. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. We made it, yeah. All right, let it be a ton of materials. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, that's beautiful, baby. Pinto bless. It's massive. That is massive. We need more power, though. It's like nothing we can really shut down. Hospitals have to stay open, food and water are. Apparently, we have enough chickens, so. I guess shut that down a little bit. The drones are doing, uh, doing some mining. Richard, thank you very much for clicking the tab and joining becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome aboard, my man. Thank you very much for your support. Welcome. Gathering materials. Alright, refining is done. Got all the materials we need. For now.
All right, we should go for rain clouds, but let's check real quick. Ooh, there's more materials. Looks like we got lucky, so we can go here, and then we can go to another one, and then we can go to the rain clouds and get more water if we need to. Which we do, but... Water seems okay. okay did we get any rear resources? Nothing. Wow, that's twice now. Twice that we've gone to mine actual materials and haven't gotten any common or uncommon resources. That should be hopefully changed to where you can get something every time. Yeah, I would have stayed in the rain clouds, but our materials were short. We were down to only like 300 when we arrived. Oh, there's water. Perfect. Whoa, 4,200 water? Holy crap. That's way more than we can hold. That's massive. Water only is 175 for the storage unit. Holy crap. Massive pog, lad. Well, we're shutting these down. That's massive fog. Time to go again. And we'll see what lays in store for us in the next area. Up here in Canada, bud. And we're a little Alaska. Yeah, the only thing stun locking us now is like, I'd like to make better power plants or upgraded power plants but we need you know we need rare materials for that so we just got to keep traveling and gathering and gathering and traveling Couple buildings need a little repair. Wow, we have 293 people in the city? You've gotta be kidding me.
All right, well, we're going to have to sacrifice some of the nice-looking areas for more density. Try researching power? Well, we can't without the rare resources required to do it. But I want to. I definitely want to. need more power, but I don't have the materials to spare for that. Too risky. We could continuously invest in massive solar arrays over here, but that's only 30 at a time. But it is only a one-time fee and continuous update uh, upkeep from our people. Meaning a constant... Um, an employee that always has to be there. Alright, we'll pay the cost with upfront solar. Another destination! I can't believe it. Wow, I can't believe it. Wow, we might be able to shut down one of the power plants. I think we should do that. We'll save this one for emergencies. Reduces our... Um, oh, and it also gives us a ton of employees back, too. Twelve? Twelve employees back into the work pool. Which means we can put it back into what counts. Chicken! Where it's really important. Uh, this is the world after a asteroid has uh, struck the surface of the moon. Or, well, really, just like a massive, like a, a moon plowing into the moon and then all that plowing into the Earth and just destroying, like, Earth's gravitational pull, you know, tidal flow and all that. Crazy. All right, would you look at that? We got a lot of materials here again, boys. I think we should just start investing all into solar. Because we need to cut that... Constant uh, use of um, the other reactor or the other power type. I'm going for it, boys. I'm going for it. We're going big. Now with added power, we have more water. Actually, the chickens are going to take up way too much water. We really need to reduce, we need to research the reduction. Um, these can go off, these need to go on, which they are, yes, no. turn off something temporarily. Or just wait until the uh, 
power plants are done. There we go. Is there bacon? Well, we have chickens so far, so maybe we'll be able to get pigs. Man, do you realize how much pigs eat? Jeez. I don't even know if it would be a, a benefit or a, a negative. Alright, we need more people in water gathering. Hey, welcome to all the new subs, too. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing. I, I see a lot of people subscribing today. Welcome aboard. Wow, we could expand the shield even more. Right now, we're using a lot more power than we normally do because we're in mining mode. In mining mode, we're using a lot of power. What's up, Daniel? How you doing? This game has gotten great. I'm, I'm really liking this. All the mining is complete. No more rare minerals again? It's like I gotta start going into the storms to get it. That's crazy. We've been stun locked forever. suck up so much. Alright, we're gonna go down to that one. You see me playing a lot of city builders lately? Really cool. Yep. I've been enjoying them. It's cool how unique and creative they've had to be lately in order to do uh, to stick out, you know? Do things differently. Alright, water seems to be going up. Food is... Okay, we do have a lot of raw vegetables. That's good. Still not making enough food, though, for the kitchens. Maybe there's an upgrade for those? Oh, no. One chicken too many. I think we gotta just keep making massive solar panel farms. What does Stunlock mean? Um, unvoluntarily un un stuck with nothing you can do in return. Chat has an emote for it, but they wouldn't want to. They wouldn't want to use that emote. No, they wouldn't want that to happen. Looks like this is too close to the edge for more solar panels. We'll have room for something here. We just got to start decommissioning these power plants. They're just gobbling up way too much now. Move right 
arrived at our destination. I don't think you're right about that, ma'am. We gotta make one more jump. Okay, when we hit 180 power, okay, I'm gonna shut down another power plant. Taking labor from all the other buildings. Uh, we need to build another apartment building. Well, the good news is we've got a massive surplus to air circulation. Is there a way to see how many hours you've watched this channel? I guess you only know that truly in your heart, you know? All right, the good news now is that we have The good news is now that we've got more material nearby, we should be able to build the remaining homes and then get everybody in the solar panels. Solar panels are basically free now. We just need the materials and then they're, they're auto. All right, what I want to do now is try to get our power below 180 something so we can shut down another plant. Apparently one person is star... Zero hungry, zero starving, but it says one. They must have just ate. Alright, I'm gonna shut down. I hate to do it, folks. Don't be mad, I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down the chicken. End of farm. We gotta shut down another plant. You can check hours via st Streamlabs. Everybody type exclamation point watch time or wh what's the command? I guess you can type a command in the chat and that'll work. Alright, material is 2,150. That's good. Fire up the miners. Or whatever it is. I, I forget what the command is. Oh, there it is, top hours. Tan with 2,000 hours she put up with me. Baltimore's, Samuel, Toby, Pilot Pro, Indrid, Ollie, and Rob. Wow. Top nerds. Mind those materials, baby. We need more power. I don't know what we'll put here. But we'll figure it out. Come on, baby. Rare minerals. Let's go. Finally. Holy crap. 
That's what we needed for like three mining operations ago. And that's still not even enough. We have enough to go to six. Uh, maybe there's a different option. Output of each power plant is increased by three. What's this one? Higher durability. Better solar power plant? No. Combustion power plants require 5% less material. Oh, we're still short. We need two, two material for that. Wow. Well, I guess the good thing will be if we can get our if we can get our material usage to zero and completely rely on solar, then we won't then we can stay afloat the entire time and not worry about anything. If we can go 100% solar, then we And by the way, why aren't we using wind power? So it's literally I think we're on top of the world here. I don't know where we're going here, but I guess let's try to go inland and see what's there. All right, so if we go 100% solar, we drop our material usage to zero, and then that means all of our materials is dedicated to building. Uh, that means that if everybody's working at the solar plants, the solar plants are taking no materials, the solar plants are then providing power for water and food, and then the food varieties can increase because we'll have a lot of water and other things for that. Wow, we shut down, we've successfully shut down three power plants so far though. But we're gonna need to keep them around for emergency power. Alright, let's scan and see what's around us. So the only other thing now to do is to build a hospital. That's just just on RNG now. But we gotta start playing the long game. I was going like straight for the objective, but given the fact that the game's being stingy right now with our uh, materials, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Looks like water's maxing out for now. Turn off that block for a time. And away we go again to go get more materials. And that is the only way that we can get those research materials. So we just gotta keep hitting those up until we get enough uh, on commons or commons to finish power plant research so we use less materials so that we can stay in the game longer and then spend the rest of our time looking for more materials to then do the uh, hospital research, which is fun. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Good. Alright, let's see what we got. Probably just gonna be water. Oh, I knew it. Lots of water, though. Which we don't really need at the moment. Let's complete the scan and see where we can go from here. Ooh, a deadly storm. We can also start launching probes and going further and finding out what's further and further away from the ship. That's cool. All right, folks, well, that is our time today for the Big O Sandbox and Difficulties update for Sphere Flying Cities. 
I've enjoyed this this time more than I have all the previous times as well. In other words, it keeps getting better. And this one was definitely having a lot more flow to it. I hope there's a few changes to the game, but the good thing is, is with it being early access, we can always uh, give back uh, tons of um, feedback to the developers. Of course, they have a roadmap down here and a bug report, so if something doesn't feel right or if you think it's a bug, you can always report it to in the early access phase or uh, cover questions in their FAQ. And I'm sure they have a Discord where they address a lot more things too. That'll come soon to the game. All right, folks. I'll see you for our next stream in a couple of hours tonight where we're going to space yet again in another good game. Thanks to the devs for sponsoring today's stream. You can, again, check it out with the link in the description and or just find it on Steam. Look for Sphere Flying Cities or wherever you prefer to get your games and see if it's available. All right, I'll see you guys later today. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. We didn't we didn't really die. We did okay. That was, a, that was a good run. I enjoyed that immensely. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for all the big O Super Chats. Welcome to all the new members. Smash like, subscribe today, and I'll see you in a couple hours for more big O streams. Goodbye.